So we're here today with this 2019 Odyssey car transporter trailer. I inspected this personally and we've got a number of jobs. Today we're going to run through how to change the slide blocks on the Odyssey. So in this pillar here we have the deck lock and either side of the deck lock are two slide blocks, two nylon slide blocks that travel up and down the pillar. Now over time they wear and it's dead simple to spot. You can just come behind and you look and if they're tilting they're worn. Simple as that. Another major thing to look out for is this chain. It's a big indicator. So what we want to watch out for is this chain rubbing against these teeth. If the wear kicks it into the back of the pillar, the chain will become closer. This pin will actually it protrudes at the rear. It will shear off on these teeth. The pin will come out and our chain will drop off. So that's why we check the rears. We want to be protecting that chain. Now the fronts are slightly different and the front is what we're going to change today. So I Lola inspected this vehicle myself. I failed the back slide box. They're no good, they need replacing. And also these are actually far worse. These are worn a hell of a lot more. There's less to go wrong here because we don't have the chain pin that can break off, but even still, they need to be done. So as you can see on this one, we have about a 20 millimeter gap here, and up here it's maybe 35, 40. So for the purposes of this video, we're gonna do the front. It's easier to access with the camera, plus we're gonna show you how to take the weight of the deck with the decks themselves. So we wanna get this deck in line so we can lift it off unobscured. So it's extremely important, before we remove any of these, we now wanna get our deck supported with the unit deck. So for this job, we're gonna use the unit's rear slide and the car one's forward slide to take the weight of the deck so we can extract the locks out. So we're gonna lift the back of the deck up and the front so she's nice and level and we can get it lifted off that pivot. We wanna go a little bit past because we're gonna raise the front up into the inspection hole, like so. Okay, so we're gonna start by extending the car one forward. Then we're gonna lift the rear of the unit to somewhere near. Then we're gonna chuck our extender outwards. So with that, we're gonna lift now the rear of the unit and that's gonna take the weight of our deck. Because we've got such a large overlap, it can't slip off, it can't miss, that's gonna be perfectly safe. So, of course, safety wins the day. We are working with that big steel deck above our house. It is very important that when we do have it bridged with the top deck rear, we drop it onto the lock. It can't go anywhere then. So again, always using the deck to our advantage. That's quite a high gap there. I'm six foot, honest, and I can't quite reach that comfortably. So, we'll take the rear of the scissor up. Perfect, that should just be the right height. So as you can see, we've got this now level and we've got our lock in line with our inspection hatch. All we have to do is remove these bolts and that gives us access. So now we're gonna to wanna to take the pinch bolt out of the top deck. And it's gonna slowly lift off that lock and we're clear. So we are a little high on our inspection hatch here. We're gonna take these off, but that's okay. We just move the, we just flick the top deck lever to bring this down on the chain. Um, we'll do that once we've got these out. There we have it. As you can see, we're a little high. So I'm gonna move the top deck lever that's associated with this deck. Because the deck's not involved, all it's gonna do is make this carrier come down slightly. So we're gonna put the air button in and we're gonna drop that top deck lock. So we take that lock down, there we go. We want it about there. So this grease in here is a lot like fifth wheel grease. If you get it on you, it's gonna go everywhere. There's no reason to get covered. It's quite simple, you lift, the deck lock out of the carrier, because it's hanging on the chain, we lift it out, it's took the weight of it. All then all we need to do 
Let's get some screwdrivers, a chisel, and we just poke these, and we just flick these off. See how they're coming? And then that's that one out. All you want to do is just get it, chuck it out. We'll just pop them off. There we go. So as you can see, this is one of our new blocks, and this is the old worn one. We have quite a chamfer on the end there, that's what's giving us our play. So when fitting our new nylon block, if you turn it round, you'll see these holes are offset. We want the fat chunky bit to the rear because it pulls it away from the teeth. So we want the fat to the back. And we just put it on like so. Simple as that. Again, the fat bit to the back of the pillar. Put that on. And there we have it. So once she's in, when we lift the deck, it's going to catch on here because of the forward tilt. All we do is push it to the back of the pillar and then we're going to take it up ourselves and go to the next tooth. But as we can see, we've got a lead already into our pillar. So we just need to put our inspection cover on and we can take it up out of the way. So we're going to put our bolts in our inspection cover like so. But I would not tighten them up until my deck is out of the way. We want this deck lock clear of the pillar we don't want any obstruction to that. We want to tighten that down with nothing behind it because we could get a false torque reading. If that's pushing it and then we move it, it could shake loose. So once our slow blocks are in, we just reverse the process. Dead simple. We drop this top deck down using the unit, our pinch bolt in, then we make sure this is on the lock. We then take our unit deck down out of the way and then we just stow everything back. That's it, done. So as we can see, that's practically taken out all the indifference there. So all we've done is repeat the process from that side onto this one. And as you can see, that's leveled our carry out right out. Perfect. So now our front slide blocks are done, we're gonna move on to our rear units. These need to be done as well. Now all we do is the same process all the way through, but we're gonna reverse the position of our decks. Now our top deck front is gonna swap and lift the rear of our unit, much like we did on this process. Now with these rear unit locks, as you can see, we do have a little bit of lead at the top, but our main wear has kicked the whole carrier over like this. So it keeps jamming on the way down. We're gonna put some new blocks in that. It's gonna straighten it up and reverse the pitch. It's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna to wanna to put our round button in and we lift the rear of the unit off the lock and we're gonna drop it down onto our top deck front pivots. Once they're sat on the pivots, we can move this deck away. Beautiful. So now we're moving on to the rear unit deck locks. We're going to want to reverse the decks round. The lift out is now we're going to come the lift in. So we're going to bring that extender in, take that extender in, swap the heights, and then protrude them back out. And it's going to take the weight much the same as it did before, but it's going to lift this deck now instead of our top deck unit. So because we're reversing this and the front of our trailer is going to be doing the lifting, we want to stow these away. We don't want all that weight on them. We want it on the main deck itself. So because we've been messing around with this front position quite a lot, the actual deck has become uneven. It's quite, when you're going up and down in small increments, this can happen. All we do to fix that is we're going to take it all the way to the top and lock it completely out and fill those rams up. So if you watch, the near side's going to hit the top much before the offside. And see, we just took about three inches out of that. So we want to power that up. And since we're there, we're going to do the rear as well. See, that was just slightly out. So what I do is I drop down on the lock, back up one more time. Drop onto lock, back up one more time, then we come down. Sometimes it is tempting to do both levers at the same time, but try not to do that. 
more can go wrong. One lever at a time. There we have it. We've corrected that. And up we go with our makeshift lift. Slowing down to make connection. There we have it, we've just took the weight. So once we've got our pivot points clear, we want to drop our deck onto the first available lock. And that's it, it cannot move, we're safe. So now the deck's lifted and our locks are in place, we're just going to repeat the process, the same as we did on the front of the trailer. Covers off, blocks out, swap, back in. Dead simple. These rear unit blocks are ever so slightly different. Because we have this bit of a tail fin on the side here, when we bring it down into position, we can't access these two top bolts. So all we do, we keep the front one on, we take the rear inspection plate off both sides, then we bring it into position. So then we want to bring our deck down into this position, much like before, into our gallery. So encasing our pivot point this time, we have this section of angle iron. It's much the same as a pinch bolt, we just need to remove it out the way. We've got another bolt at the rear. And off she comes, with a little bit of help from gravity. So we're gonna get Lift the deck out, lift the lock out, and of course she just hangs on her own chain, and off come the blocks. So that's it, the job's done. And as you can see, I'm pretty clean. There's a few spots that it's unavoidable. But more importantly than that, is the vehicle. If we get grease on the deck, on the pillars, the driver's gonna get it on his high vis. He's gonna get it in the brand new car he's delivering. He loses his bonus, it looks very bad. So we wanna go around and clean everything. You've gotta go that extra mile, you know? So it's important to go around and clean off any greasy handprints we put on. You know, we don't wanna cause any damage. We wanna leave the job as if we've never been there.